Silas give you some mid 2v2 power, but is a lot harder to, I think, reliably get uh, a big impact out of the Muscaria. Uh, sees Renata and says, I can punish an enchanter. Yeah. Oh, I have seen. Okay. Oh, Dread. I'm liking this. Yeah, wrapping around. Vault Breaker does come through. Gets the auto reset here. His owner connects a Q, but I don't think he's winning this fight. There it is. Dread had the auto attack already primed, and he solo kills owner in his jungle. Oh, what of his own. Place it down wow. here in this brush. He doesn't care. Yeah, uh, Zayas, you have to be careful. That's a flash forward here from Kana. The Brittle is going to get propped, and is this just another kill? Dread picks up his second of the game, and uh, Zayas, a very rare... Overall, they're actually playing towards Dread's lead, and it's really interesting in a, in a split where junglers have oh, most... So this is going to be a red buff that does belong to Dread. Kumushi to come on through here, but he gets his hand shook, and uh, going to have to flash to get himself out of the way of this one. Now Zayas is rotating over. It's a nice kickback. Faker's here as well. And Dread just going to get taken down. I don't know how that positioning ended up happening. There, but, there's uh, a great name for that. Zerillion. There you go. It, uh, uh, it sounds like either a JR token, token book or um, a rock. Still a possibility. However, that uh, we're getting a bit ahead of ourselves. That's not going to be now. That's going to be next week. We move 12-14 as uh, BDD trying to get into position here against Kerry, who just explodes. Doesn't even ult himself, not going to be able to do so here as Ghost not going to have his spell shield proc, but not going to die as well. So that is just a pick. And the first, uh, and the third kill, sorry, for Nongshim. There's no far. Taking a bit of damage here from Faker. BDD off to the side. Handshake not going to land here as there's the Assault and Battery. Is Faker just goes a million miles underneath this turret. Emperor's Divide is going to get a flash out of Dread as well as BDD looks to try and get in there. There's an Empress Divide back to the Azir, and BDD will pick up the kill, some revenge, some catharsis for the Nongshim mid laner. And if you get caught, you, uh, you just kind of die. So do not yeah. feeling safe. Of course, um, Carrier not ideally going to be in a position where he ults himself, as there's the Ornhorn. Okay, Carrier, oh, I don't know how you managed to get around that, as the Rock is going to be placed there with the Mountain Rift, and it's Orn that picks up the kill on the Zillion. Now Gumiyushi going to get the same treatment. He just explodes as BDD ults him with his own ultimate. And now Ghost is looking to expect to play out, because instead now, oh, they're, they're diving. A, ooh. All right, there's some chains. There's some more chains as BDD coming Look on over. Dread. That is a preemptive ulti as Dread has Assault and Battery. So now Faker, without the ult, he's real dead. Dread's going to pick that one up. Denting Blows is going to allow that one to come through. And now Nongshim with a man advantage on the map. They're looking to take down Shirley. They might be able to deny this one. Great handshake there from Shimeo. One of the things that makes T1 so oppressive to play against, that made him so good, is hold that thought. Yeah, Gumiushi Extendo Beam gets the flash out of Kana. The ulti comes through here as well. Can they finish off the dive is the question. And the answer is no, because he just walks his way out. Ona trying to find himself a kick play, but he doesn't quite get there. As there's the Chrono Shift used by Carrier finally. Empress Divide comes through from BDD. And Faker was trying to get on top of him. But the Ghost, you are not Zeri. This um, is danger times. Okay, he's um, fine. He's yeah. No problem. I'm going to be Jet Set radioing as uh, BDD is going to find Zeus. Um, this is not close, even in the slightest little bit at all. What? Wow. Okay. Um, Zeus is a handbag. Yeah. Uh, Sidelining, as I mentioned, not really an option. Was Zeus on like 10% health when that started? No, he didn't have Dominus. And also, BDD has less. We yeah. get one of those. I think uh, Wolf, Wolf one might be able to actually um, make the phone call for us. Uh, he'll yeah. be able to tell you guys um, how the call went with the certification office um, once we get to the uh, the desk. If you don't get that, I think there's a lot of options. You can, unless you find a massive outplay. Like I'm talking. Well, huge. speaking of massive outplays, BDD is going to come on through here and lock down Zayas. He prowls. But Ghost is not going to die. Hostile Takeover comes through. Faker's going to have to go golden in order to avoid it. Emperor's Divide the Flash. Faker trying to keep himself alive, but BDD, he closes the gap. He gets thrown back towards Gumiushi as Kana's now inside the fight as well. And BDD, the Dominus. And T1 are just booking it to the Baron. Why not? Might as well. Uh, this is very risky, regardless, because even though you have multiple people alive, BDD and Dread. Yeah, Dread is certainly one of those people that is alive. Snowflower as well can do a lot of work with this hostile takeover. Here's the Ornhorn. BDD getting into the back of the pit. Great double knock up there from Kana. Zayas 
gonna go down first. Hanna locks up that kill. Chrono Shift has been used on to own it here as Dread gets into the pit. They want to take down the Lee Sin. It's a double kill here for Kanna, who's just a bodyguard. The guy is Baron and Nongshim beat T1, a serving of their own medicine here in the Baron pit. BDD gets the chain, but it's a great Emperor's Divide here from Faker, but the chain latch is even better. It's another kill for BDD. He locks down the double. Give him the triple, Nongshim. They absolutely will. And I think we might be going to game three. Unbelievable! <laughs> Look at that fight. Kana hitting a couple of beautiful knockups. Snowflower getting a bunch of key handshakes. Are we talking about Nongshim? playing as a team and looking like a unit we are, we are not ready for this what power. year is it we don't deserve it Atlas. i am we so are confused. not allowed to witness this no we're not but it's happening anyway they have a huge lead as they push these baron minions towards inhibitor turrets zeus trying to split where he can of course not exactly super valuable oh in a God. siege scenario and he will be able to get some bounty gold That's so they take down the inner turret and yeah that is going to be mountain soul here for nongshu mountain soul on who has an Abyssal Mask? BDD is going to be doing even more damage. Yeah, I don't think he needs the help. No, uh, save, her it. save her today. Absolutely. Uh, this Bramble back, likely to go down. Kumiyushi still waiting for that certification as Faker wants to get over this wall. Emperor's Divide is going to throw him back again as Sand Soldiers are all over this map. That was a very weird sign that they created there. I think it was a square root that was uh, drawn by the Sand Soldiers. I don't know what that necessarily is that, is that means. It? As, yeah, Nongshim are looking to try and end this game. Ah, uh, the inhibitor turret will go down. Inhibitor to follow. And we'll see whether Nongshim are going to play this one by the book. Looks like Dread has the idea of pushing out this mid lane instead. And Cyrildas is now done for Zeus, but it's feeling too little and potentially too late as he's looking for the wrap around. He's still very dangerous as BDD is not the target that he wants as immediately Zeus is like, I'm out of here. Carrier, make me fast. I must escape. And it is going to be what he does. So, Dread now finally has the minion wave conga lining forward. That extendo beam, not exactly the one that we're expecting, right, from these Zeris. Kumushi a little bit anemic this game as BDD is just looking so bloodthirsty. Two inhibitors go down. And Nongshim now have the ability to just get out I of here. I still Lord. stand by the fact that BDD was MVP mid laner of Worlds last year. I like it. As, all right, we're going for the fight. They're looking for Carrier, and they will be able to get his chrono shift. Immediately, that... BDD turns into a bigger crocodile than the actual crocodile that is now trying to kill Kana. You cannot kill Kana. He's the one guy that you cannot kill. And uh, Dread is going to get his flash. There's now Zayas is on the wrong side of the map. Two seconds before this Baron is available, and they do not have their chrono shift. Let's see whether Dread's going to be able to win this 1v1. Yeah, uh, I... Denting Blows is going to be in there. Well, and uh, he feels strong. He is. Like... And he's got a bunch of damage. Now the turrets yeah. are going to be there. So Zayas does get himself out. But uh, that was a legit 1v1 um, between uh, Dread and himself. I... I think they've done it. Yeah, well, BDD is looking to solidify it even further. As he's got an Emperor's Divide available, he's going to throw it back there onto Ona. More chains, he's just 1v2ing. Make that three. Baron is going to be secured here. BDD goes golden. Punish Eight. the tendencies of T1. I'm talking about the multiple topside collapses. I'm talking about T1's tendencies to be too far up in lanes. And Nongshim just throw the gauntlet and punch him in the face with it. Well, now Kana's just headbutting rocks and things like this as well as the Ornhorn is going to come through. There's a knockup, but it's only on to Owner as BDD looking to try and escape from this one. He should be able to do so. He's actually throwing chains back, which is pretty dangerous. As Gumiyushi, he is very scary. We'll get stunned. There's now Ghost, still at full health, wants to get these autos through. The ricochets are so dangerous. Ghost gets thrown back, but the bailout comes through. He flashes and gets on top, but that's Chrono Shift as Gumiyushi's going to have to flash to get himself out of the way. Carrier as well is just running for the hills. And Goom is going to be taken down. Go That's taking it. matters into his own hands. And Nongshim will even out the series here with T1. And I don't care if they just go on to lose.